why aspirin is used for the prevention of stroke or myocardial infarction aspirin is a cox inhibitor it is a cyclooxygenase inhibitor now this cyclooxygenase actually acts on arachidonic acid arachidonic acid is a lipid which is present in the membrane it is released from the membrane by means of another enzyme that is phospholipase a2 okay now cyclooxygenase enzyme acts on this so we have thromboxane a2 and we have prostaglandin i2 this prostaglandin i2 is inhibitor of platelet aggregation and thromboxane a2 is the stimulator of platelet aggregation now both will be inhibited but what happens this thromboxane a2 is inhibited in the platelets and prostaglandin i2 it is synthesized from the normal lining endothelial cells of the blood vessel but within the platelets this inhibition is irreversible why because platelets do not have nucleus so once that is inhibited only when the new platelets enter into the circulation then only this thromboxane a2 will be active on the other hand this prostaglandin i2 even if it is inhibited it can be resynthesized within the endothelial cells okay so the balance shifts towards the synthesis of the prostaglandin i2 that is inhibitor of the platelet aggregator so that is why this aspirin acts as inhibitor of platelet activation and platelet aggregation so it is going to decrease the tendency for thrombus formation and thrombus is like excessive uh, platelet plug formation so when there is decreased tendency of thrombus formation then the blood vessels are not going to be blocked that is why it is used for the prevention of stroke and myocardial infarction